Hello Prime Coders, welcome back to Prime Coding channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Accenture exact coding question, what they ask. So in this video, we'll cover one programming question and also we'll share you the uh, similar pattern based questions so that you can practice also. This video would be a comprehensive one which they ask and another set of problem which should which you should practice. Okay, because it is always uh, practice can give you success. So definitely in this video, you will get a practice questions too. So Accenture exact uh, coding question that we got from the candidate too. So coding question is uh, 20th of December 1 complete solution and next round prep will also give you that too. Okay. So without wasting any further time, we have question number one, which states a given integer or array A of size N find and return the smallest missing even number in the array. It is very easy. You need to just find a smallest missing number, even missing number in an array in an optimal manner or it can be the brute force is also submitted in this survey based company. They very uh, lessly prone towards the optimized solution, but you should be able to write code. That's the main motive over here. So if all prime members up to the maximum even value are present, then return the next even after the largest even number. Okay. So this is just an edge case that you need to take care when all of the even number is present, the largest even number, then return the next even number after the largest even number that you can do. Okay. So this is a very straightforward question. If we see the test cases, we have two, four, eight, ten, and even number present is two, four, eight, ten. And here I can find six is missing, which is very smallest one and six is the right answer though. Edge case 135. Here I can see no even number exists. So two is the very first and smallest uh, even number present. So yeah, two is the right answer. So from this few sets of approach came into my mind is first, uh, we can, uh, what, what we can do, we can start doing, uh, finding all the numbers. Like let's say we have an array, we can do a brute force search that, uh, let's say a for loop, a for loop, which is responsible to calculate even numbers like two, four, six, eight, ten, And for each number and for each number, we'll find whether this is like we, either, either we can use dot find or we have multiple STL, op STL operation in, uh, in that particular C plus plus two. And we, it, it, the same thing in Java, but let's say if you don't want to use this find or any STL, it is the best approach that coming into my mind over here is the second approach, which is, um, using hash map. Some people do call this hash map as hash set or some Python people do also call it as dictionary. So we have few sets of approaches in my mind. So what we can do is we set all the array elements. So let's say we have an array elements, which is two, four, or if we think in a perspective of an array, which is a dictionary two, four, eight, 10 with their frequency of one, 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 one. So we have one, one, one frequency of each element. Now what I will do, I will start iterate like this array, uh, the hash set or hash power dictionary is already created. Now I will start a loop which will only iterate to from an even number to an largest even number possible, largest even number possible. And then will slowly checking for it. Okay. So it would be like, okay, two, then we have uh, two is there. Then another iteration would be four. Then another iteration would be six. And as we can see, six is not present in hash map or hash set. We can directly return that six is a minimum element, which is missing over here. And the a time complexity would be also reduced. Just we are consuming space, which will take O of N, the number of elements, if all elements are unique and O of N in the search time, because hash map do take O of N to find the element. And yes, O of N for a for loop that we are considering. So overall would be time complexity O of N and space would be O of N, which is pretty good for an essential level standard. Okay. So you don't need to worry. It can have multiple approaches, but this is the basic approach. So let's discuss about the brute force too, which is approach extract all even numbers that can be a one approach that and sort them start checking from two and first even number would be your answer. What it means like let's say an array has a uh, six, two, four, eight, ten. So you need to do is you need to extract all the even like it has like an array which has odd and even numbers together find all even numbers in an array then sort it then start finding from the very smallest even number which is two do check for every call like two whether it is there or not four it is there or not six it is there or not whatever elements which which we don't have we can directly return that thing so that is the approach which states of log n uh, n log n because of the sorting that we are using makes sense a very good approach though but uh, as i said 
the optimized approach that we can think of is using hash set or dictionary or a hash map whatever language you code and you will get the approach in that okay so we have a, a java code snippet although the code won't be a high level or it a very hard thing it is very easy so you don't need to uh, stress on the languages that i'm using over here you can also use c plus plus java python to code okay i have mentioned in my one of the video of essential which i have posted in last three days one of the video do consist of how many language we have i guess c plus plus we don't have or any one language we are missing please do that watch that video i'm just forgetting what language is missing and try to uh do that particular solution okay so store all even number in hash set that we are using which is hash set integer set new hash set then we have a uh, max even as zero then we have int array of one if num mod two is equivalent to equivalent to zero then set of add max even number then we have if set is empty then return two which is uh, the smallest if let's say this is an edge case your input array itself doesn't have any element then definitely the smallest even number missing would be two now for int i equals to two i is less than max even then you have started checking for each and every element uh, for the uh, the thing up okay so let's check let's check let's check okay cool so set of contains of i then we have return i then max even plus two would be the last edge case if we don't find anything okay as question states that if there is an all max even number is present then the next even number would be the missing which means let's say an array consists two four six eight ten so all of the even number are there or isn't it so what would be the missing even number the missing even number would be 12 as question states that next uh maximum even number would be the missing number in this particular question i hope you got this particular test case that's why we are returning return maximum plus two and how we are calculating max even we are just uh, finding max even by iterating over an array which will uh, cost us of n time complexity and eventually we'll get a max even array because we should have a st stopping point for our for loop too so yes this logic looks very good you can also try it by yourself in your particular language now similar questions essential can ask is very important question which is a uh, special a speciality of the prime coding that we do provide some homework question to so that you won't be going uh, clueless after this video you should have something with you so that you can practice to smallest missing odd number that you can try to perform with the same problem statement or let's say if you are confused what problem statement that you need to practice as i have only given you a single line of question so you can just copy all of these questions from uh, you can either use some text extracted to copy from the screenshot and put it into chat gpt or just put the screenshot to the chat gpt and just ask to uh, create a story based question underlying logic should be the questions that is there in the screenshot okay so it will give you some good amount of question in a storytelling manner so that you can practice too so given two numbers count how many uh, carry operations during the addition this is also a very good question then reverse word in a string essential coding test which be this one the fine missing number would be from 1 to n uh, is your practice question do let us know in the comment section that have you practiced like are you able to solve all of this question or not otherwise i would be coming with up with the solution of these videos mock interview one to one because this is the only opportunity to make your parents proud you came across to the coding question and you are just a step below or behind from your interview opportunity because communication is most of the time non-rejection round so yes this is an in-depth technical mock interview that we're gonna take hr and mr prep full interview simulation because we have a real experts who have cracked this type of company in their on campus placements and now they have experience of more than one year and working in good companies uh yes both technical and hr in one session resume reviews cherry on the cake personalized feedback from the expert which taking your session it is a comprehensive 90 minutes or more than 90 minutes of session so try to be try to check yourself before your actual interview which can help you to secure this job treat every job as a last opportunity don't check okay i will go i know everything sometimes when you know everything also you will make some set of mistakes which you uh, which no one is expected or you also have not expected so this way you can check your weakness so www.prime coding is waiting for you to uh, make your dreams true so yes resources we have already posted many videos like 15 days essential resources essential 100 plus coding questions communication actual questions and many more i have added the essential playlist also in my uh, description below or you can check in i button so that you can uh, look over more available videos so yes these are the set of things and the last is this oops and one shot sql revision you can also look over on our top mid profile to have this glance as well as uh, 
on prime coding we have a in detail notes too which can help you to secure your job it is comprehensive real world intensive you name it you will find all of the things over there okay so yes if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing it like this video share with your friends and we will be back with a new ask or a new update or a new company hiring or it can be anything please let us know if you have any doubts in the comment section we'll happy to help you out we'll meet you with a great content soon